Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be with the Jiaochu guide. But before we get into that, I'd just like to give you a fair warning with Jiaochu that currently he only works best as an upgrade for Acheron teams at E0. If you do not have Acheron and you're going for Jiaochu, be ready to invest more into him to make it work better as an actual upgrade. You have been warned, now let's continue with the video. Let's begin first with his skill level up priority. It's going to be talent ultimate skill and basic attack also make sure to unlock all minor traces because he does provide effect hit rate fire damage and speed which is all good for him as for what materials he requires i will provide the link down below where you can exactly see what you will need it's also type of a calculator so you can exactly calculate how much you'll need it for yourself now let's go over to his main stats chest effect hit rate you could also go attack percentage if you happen to have a lot of effect hit rate substats plus a light cone that provides a lot of effect hit rate but do know that you want 140% effect hit rate minimum on Jiaochu to fully utilize his kit to the max. Fit it's going to be speed it's also very important that he's as quick as possible you'll be aiming up to 160.1 speed yes you do want to play a fast Jiaochu so you can reapply debuffs as quickly as possible for your Acheron to generate more of her stacks and also for him to get quicker energy and of course also for him to generate sp if you are using basic attacks as for orb it's going to be fire damage orb you can also use an attack percentage orb if you do not have a fire damage orb yet available but i highly recommend you go with fire damage orb and lastly the rope it's going to be energy regeneration rate you do want to spam his ultimates as quick as possible they are 100 cost energy after all now also let's go quickly over the substats effect hit rate until 140 effect hit rate that is followed by speed up to 160.1 speed but do note that you really want to have 140 effect hit rate no matter what on Jiaochu but do not discount his speed you still need to make sure your Jiaochu is as fast as possible and lastly it's attack percentage because he does damage as well Jiaochu has some personal damage as well that's why we are building him this way now we'll go over to his light cone options his best in slot light cone it's of course going to be his signature light cone those many springs this light cone does provide 60 percent effect hit rate which makes it so much easier to build jiaochu also it does provide a 24 percent damage taken vulnerability debuff in total which is also amazing by having this light cone on jiaochu in your team especially for your akron team it's going to improve your akron damage even further this is a very powerful light con option and very strong for him and also on the side note this light con does work for other dot type of characters such as black swan or Gineifen. it's still a slight upgrade for your black swan if you do happen to get this light con for her just as a heads up now let's go over to his other options such as before the tutorial mission starts this is a amazing light con if you happen to play it back in 1.1 good luck you won the lottery you have it it's great you can definitely use this on Jiaochu he will unfortunately have to be played with another unit that has defense reducing debuffs such as spell or silver wolf which you will already play in an Acheron team so he can get energy from this and also does provide 40% effect hit rate so it makes it easier to build him and also for him to get ultimates even faster so this light gun is very good for him if you happen to have it you should use it of course if you're not getting the signature that is then we have also another option resolution shines as pearls of sweat this light gun is a decent option for him as well but do know that this light con does not provide any effect hit rate whatsoever so you will have potentially problems of reaching 140 percent effect hit rate but if you're able to reach 140 percent effect hit rate without his light con or something like that then this light gun would work pretty great and of course if you don't have have tutorial i would recommend potentially using something like this and if you have superimposition it's only going to be easier to apply the defense reduction on enemies of course he has also other options such as eyes of the prey this is an excellent four star light con option if you are lacking effect hit rate on him and you don't have tutorial if you have superimposition it can go up to 40 percent which is pretty useful very nice as for the increased dot damage yes it does boost his personal damage to some extent 
content which is all right but it's definitely an okay light con to use if you don't have tutorial signature or something like that and you do really need that effect hit rate badly and lastly solitary healing this is another pretty interesting weapon for jiaochu that you can use unfortunately break effect does not benefit jiaochu at all if it was effect hit rate obviously it would be so much better the light gun does provide a 48 percent increase on dots dealt by the wearer the last for two turns which is pretty nice after use the ultimate that is but that's not the selling point of this light con it's actually the energy regeneration as you can see here whenever target suffering from the dot imposed by the wearer which would be jiao chu burn yes his debuff counts as a dot burn now so you will regenerate six energy every time those enemies are defeated this light gun is very nice because it does allow your jiao chu to spam his ultimate more often in pure fiction and do know that the automatic ash and roast application from his ultimate can only be triggered six times and whenever you cast a new ultimate it will reset the number of remaining triggers and that is why you want to spam his ultimate as much as possible within your Acheron team in pure fiction that is so you can get most out of that and of course it still does damage so it's it's all right overall solitary healing is a nice option to use for your jiaochu in pure fiction there are potentially some applications outside of pure fiction but i would say for pure fiction is going to be pretty much the way to go now we'll go over to his relics for his relics you have a couple of options prisoner in deep confinement will improve his personal damage because his dots will now ignore up to 18 percent defense of enemies which is all right but do know that this set primarily is only good for personal damage of jiao chu if you're looking for something more supportive for your acheron team then i highly recommend you go with eagle of twilight line or as we like to call it the wind set this set will give him 20 25% advance forward each time he uses an ultimate. Do note that his ultimate cost is 100, so you will be spamming his ultimate quite a lot, and this is definitely gonna work really, really well for Acheron teams. So if you want to play a support Jiaochu for your Acheron teams primarily, I highly recommend you go with this set bonus. If you want him to play for more damage, then Prisoner in Deep Confinement is all right to go for as well. If you don't have any sets or anything like that, just focus on having the stats first first and then farm the sets as you go now let's move over to the planner ornaments you have a couple of options pan cosmic commercial enterprise this is a set bonus that can provide you some effect hit rate if you are lacking effect hit rate you could be using on this but let's be honest who farms this set nowadays if you happen to have it you could use it it also does provide some attack boost it's more for personal damage as well i would say the other option that i personally like way more it's sprightly vonvak vonvak will give him energy regeneration rate which can potentially help him for his ultimate rotations especially in pure fiction with solitary healing and stuff like that potentially but more importantly in the opener he gets an advance forward by 40 percent so he'll immediately be able to apply his debuffs right from the get-go which is pretty nice and also it will allow you to start with a very quick first turn alt there is another budget planner set bonus that you could use in the meantime which is forge of the kalpagni lantern it does provide six percent speed which can help with your jiao chu speed requirements the second part with the break effect is pretty much useless for him but you could be using this easily in the meantime if you don't have vonvak available and you happen to have this laying around it can provide some easy speed so it's all right now let's go over to team compositions for jiao chu the best team for jiao chu is going to be acheron team he provides everything that benefits Acheron a lot from damage vulnerability debuff application for her to get faster stacks and also damage ult increase for Acheron as well overall pretty good for Acheron in this type of team with Jiao Chu you would be basically replacing Silver Wolf or Pella with Jiao Chu if you replace Silver Wolf for Jiao Chu and play with Pella it's more AOE oriented if you replace Pella for Jiao Chu and keep Silver Wolf it's more single target oriented as for the sustainer it's going to be Gallagher, Aventurine, whatever you happen
happen to have that's pretty good for Acheron. Unfortunately, I don't have a Motrin on this account, so I'm using Gallagher or even Gappy with Trend as an option. Or if you have Push One, she can also be using Trend of the Universal Market and it can work, but do note that uh, it could be very SP intensive if it's not something like Gallagher or Avanturin. There is also another team that you can use Jiaochu for, but do know that this team is not for E0 Jiaochu. You would have to basically have E1 slash E2 Jiaochu along with his Litecoin ideally to make it work in a Kafka slash Black Swan team to replace your one Mei. Do note, this is not really cost effective and I don't really recommend. But if Jiaochu is your really favorite character and you really don't want to play with Acheron, then that would be one of the way how to go about it with him. But as of right now, like I said, he's primarily an upgrade for Acheron and if you don't have Acheron, the other type of teams are not that uh, ideal for him outside of Dot with more investment because do know that E0 Ruan Mei will still perform better than E0 Zhao Chu in a Dot team. Just as a heads up. So yeah. I guess uh, this is going to be it for this video. I hope it gave you some idea how to go about it with Zhao Chu. If you have any questions or anything like that, uh, feel free to ask me down in the comments below. Or even better, feel free to ask me on my streams. I stream every single day on Twitch slash YouTube. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next video.